been having this idea for a while about an app that creates meal plans for the week using healthy recipes that you like, while alleviating the pain of counting calories and macronutrients. I want to take you along to show you how am I developing it and why am I developing it. So what's wrong with diets? Many things. I don't know a single person who enjoys starving themselves while calling it fun. Once you finish your diet, all the hardly gained results are starting to fade away. So I decided to make something better that can possibly help many people. In this video I will show you how I design this system, what requirements are there, what scalability and performance issues I might be looking at and what security considerations I want to include. When I design my applications, as a first step I gather all the requirements. First, I try to sketch out the features that I want to implement. These might change when I start using the application or I might add new features or deprecate current ones, but I need this analysis to have a rough idea what am I trying to implement. My next question is, why are the users using it? What is the value proposition of my application? They can create meal plans based on their preferred foods and their macronutrient goals. It helps users eat healthy by recommending recipes, creating meal plans so they have an easy meal prep for the week. I hate how complicated it is to get the right amount of ingredients while considering calories, carbs, fats and protein goals. I need information about the user. What is their body weight? Based on that, I need to calculate their macro goals, the carb, protein and fat intake. Everyone likes different foods. I need to take that into consideration. Do they like cucumbers? What meats do they like? Do they even like meat? For this we need a list where the users can choose foods that they like, so the app won't accidentally recommend something they don't. That would be a big no-go. For example, I don't like liver, that metallic taste is not my jam, so I'm not putting that on my list. The application needs recipes to operate. This is static data. It will be a manual process to curate a bunch of them. I have help in this regard, I go to a gym where the trainer is a very friendly fellow who is sharing knowledge about nutrition and food. He is trying to help members get in better shape. Having a weekly meal plan would definitely help me. The most challenging part in the application will be to implement the correct method to recommend the meal plan. My plan is to have two types of lunches in the week. As a user I will only have to cook twice because cooking takes time and personally I don't always have time to cook. The user will get a recommendation for the whole week, like oatmeal for breakfast and how much ingredients should they put in their meals. I want to include breakfast, lunch, dinner and room for some snacks as we all love them. I will try to guide the user towards the healthy ones. Cooking needs preparation and measuring that I want to automate. I want to create a feature where users can give feedback on recipes that they like it or not and I plan that initially every recipe will be recycled like once a month so that they will eat various foods. Light foods will be recommended more often, boring foods won't be recommended for some time. It will be using some waiting system. I have another requirement, localization. Basically I want to develop the application to support multiple languages. As I'm living in Hungary the gym members would also like to use the application, I will also need to add the support for Hungarian language. I have resource constraints, I am planning to have only a few users at the start. So that means I don't want to spend a lot of money on server costs. I currently have a small VPS with 1 CPU core, 1 GB of RAM and 20 GB of SSD. These are the resource constraints I'm dealing with currently. But I do want to add the ability to scale it up as we go. For scaling and performance I've created different ideas in my head to satisfy those concerns. For now, the application will be small regarding the user base, that's why I don't need that much resources. Yesterday was snowing beautifully and this is a nice moment to go out to walk my dogs. A long walk always calms my mind, clears my thoughts and lets me focus when I return. Walking in the nature gives me joy and inspiration.
how a usual user flow looks like. They connect from their device, it can be a mobile device, laptop or whatever their device is, maybe it's a smart fridge, you can never know. I would add a load balancer, but as there won't be many users, I will skip it. I can always deploy the application to AWS in a matter of hours and I can add an application load balancer there easily. Our request will be directly served by the web server. The web server will include the front-end and the back-end. I am planning to use server-side rendering. I have been working with React for more than 5 years. It's good to try something new from time to time, to have more experience and grow as a developer. That's what I can advise to anyone to try out new stuff, because the principles you learn along the way will relate somehow to the other parts of your coding journey and it helps to deepen your existing knowledge. Software development is a very competitive field to work in and you are expected to continuously grow. So that's a plus if you have a pet project where you can pick up new skills. And this application is read heavy. I want to add some caching to improve read performance, so I cache data like recipes and the ingredients. After the caching layer I will need a database. It is also extremely important to have some logging metrics and monitoring in place. When you are missing it, your application basically flies blind and you have no idea what is happening inside. Are your users facing some errors? Is something not working and you don't have the ability to know? Only when you use the application you will face the error and that's the thing we would try to avoid. When a user faces an error, they might churn. I want to log errors, monitor performance metrics, anything slowing down the application, maybe some queries running slowly. It helps me guide improving the application further over time. I want to implement this application with the bad stack. Bungie's a pretty new runtime I have been curious about, and there is Alicia, a web framework. Terzo, an SQLite database, which have a very generous free tier. I think SQLite will be more than enough for me. It is very performant for this amount of data. We also have HTMX that basically allows me to render HTML. We can send back HTML responses instead of JSON. A lightweight library, I can replace React with it. I want to talk a little bit about scaling. There are two approaches, vertical and horizontal. Vertical scaling means increasing the capacity of a single server, like upgrading the CPU or RAM. It has limits and can be more expensive. In most of the cloud providers, this is a one-way ticket. Horizontal scaling means adding more servers to distribute the load. This is often more scalable and cost-effective, as we can start additional servers if the load requires it and terminate them once they are not needed. Here is the finished architecture. Let me know what you guys think about my project, am I missing some feature? If you have some personal project or you are thinking about making one, let me know in the comments. I am excited to learn about your ideas and have a conversation. Hopefully you will find this app useful and use it as I am expecting to find it useful. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you want to see how it develops, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.